Hello everyone, welcome to Quant 200 series, where today we are going to discuss an amazing question based on integral solutions in linear equations. So first try this question and then we are going to solve it together. Okay, let's try this one. In a bag, there are 100 coins. The coins in the bag are of denomination 1 rupees, 2 rupees or 5 rupees. There are at least 10 coins and at most 60 coins of each denomination. Urvasi takes out 40 coins which consist at least 1 coin of each denomination from the bag and finds that the total worth of coins that C has taken out is 148 rupees. The total worth of coins that are still in the bag is 212. Which of the following can be the total number of coins of denomination rupees 1 that are still in the bag? So what can we say? Uh, C taken out 148 rupees. C is still left with 212. So total amount that we have here is equal to 212 plus 148 which is equal to 360 rupees. Now let's say number of uh, coins of 1 rupees is x, number of coins of 2 rupees is y and number of total coins of 5 rupees is z. Can I say that x plus y plus z should be equal to 100 as well as the total values. So x coin 1 rupee value will be x rupees, y coins of 2 rupees the value will be 2 y rupees, z coins of 3 rupees, 5 rupees value will be 5 z and this should be equal to 360. Now if we subtract equation 1 in equation 2 what are we getting? x x will be cancelled out y plus 4 z will be equal to 260. Now minimum is 10, right? If I am putting minimum 10, which is equal to 40, z is 40, then y will be equal to 220, which is not possible because x plus y plus z is 100. So let's just start with maximum values. What we can say about x, y and z here? The maximum value of z that I can take is 60, at most 60 coin. If I am taking z as 60, this will become 240. In that case, y will be 20 x plus y plus z is 100. Can I say x will be 20 as well? Now, we can reduce the value of y, value of z with the coefficient of y and increase the value of y with the coefficient of z. This is the nature of the values of the variables in integral solutions. So, if I put next value of z which is 59, y will be 24 and x will be 24 plus 59 is 83, this will be 70. The next value, this we can take 58, this will be 28 and this will be 40. Then again, the next value we can take here is 57, this will be 32 and this will be 11. Now, can we go beyond that? No. Why? Because if you are taking z is equal to 56, y will be 36 and x will be less than 10, which is not possible because at least 10 coins are there. So there are four possibilities, four combination possible where sum of all the coins is 100 and their values is 360. Now, C is taking out at least one of each coin and uh, total is 40 coins and total value is 148. So let's say in this case, number of 1 rupee coin is A, number of 2 rupees coin is B and number of 3 rupees coin, not 3 again, 5 rupees coin is C Then total number of coins should be 40. Let's say this is our equation 3. What will be the total values? A plus 2B plus 5C is equal to 148. This is our fourth equation. Now once again, if I subtract equation 3 to equation 4, what are we getting? 
we get b plus 4c is equal to 108 right again starting with the maximum value let's try to check the combination the possible values of a b c we know that each of these values must be at least one maximum value of c i can take is uh, 27 but if i am taking c as 27 b will become zero so that is not possible i must take c at max 26 then b will become 4 26 into 4 104 b is 4 total is 40 so a must be 10 if a is 10 next value i can take c decrease it with the coefficient of b which will be 25 increase it with the coefficient of c which will be 8 and decrease it by 3 because if this is 25 and 8 it will be a total of 33 then this will be 7 this value is increasing by 4 this value is decreasing by 1 4 minus 1 this value will keep decreasing by 3 so next it will be 24 then 12 and then 4 then this value we can take 23 this will be 16 and this value will be 1 now we cannot go beyond that because in that if you go beyond if this becomes 22 this will be 20 some will be 42 which is not possible now it says uh, which of the following could be can be the total number of coins of denomination 1 rupees that are still in the bag so we can consider one of the cases from here and one of the cases from here which satisfies all the condition <coughs> so you can see the value of c is always lesser here than this one the value of b is always lesser here than this one and value of a is always lesser here than this one so any combination from here and any combination from here is possible what could be the total number of coins of denomination 1 see it could be 20 minus 10 10 20 minus 7 13 20 minus 4 16 20 minus 1 19 similarly in all the cases we will have to check but do we need to check like this or should we go by the options let's try to check if one value out of these four and one value out of these four gives us a difference of nine because this is the total this has been taken out nine 20 minus 9 is 11 there is no 11 here 17 minus 9 is 8 there is no 8 here 14 minus 9 is 5 there is no 5 here 11 minus 9 is 2 there is no 2 here next option 17 20 minus 3 no 3 here 17 minus 0 that is not possible 14 and 11 is always not possible now consider 11 <coughs> 11 cannot be left if we check uh, in case of 11 20 minus 9 should be 11 not possible 17 minus 11 will be 6 no 6 is here 14 minus 3 is 11 there is again no 3 here 11 minus 11 is 0 which is of course not going to happen 13 20 minus 13 is 7 is there a 7 yes this is possible then there are multiple cases possible like 17 minus 4 is also 13 14 minus 1 is also 13 so there are multiple cases possible where number of coins left in this bag will be 1 rupee coin will be 13 so our answer is option d it's a really good question based on uh, finding the integral solutions in linear equations which can be solved easily if you are familiar with how to find uh, integral solutions quickly if you know one integral solution like one value should be decreasing by the coefficient of other variable and other value should be increasing with the coefficient of first variable right thank you